One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maximum brightness. One, two, three, four, five. Primary arm is one to six with the kiss reticle. Pros and cons, cons, these flip up caps are really inexpensive, they're really cheap. Uh, you feel like they're just, they're just gonna break in your hand. Uh, optical clarity, at one X there's a lot of fish shine, at six X there's a ton of chromatic aberration, especially at closer ranges. This shot of the pool is at about 10 to 15 yards and you can really see how much it fish eyes. I also tried showing that at the range at 50 yards, there's Considerable amount of fisheye at 1x. At 6x, it falls apart. Uh, other cons, that's really it. I have, everything else is basically a pro. Uh, illumination, I really like it, especially with the Kiss reticle. I don't know how it is with the other reticles, but with this Chevron, it is nice and bright. Not really daytime bright, but it gets the job done in most situations. I also love the reticle. I wish 
a Chevron was offered on more optics as, as an option because I would love to have that on many different rifles of mine. As far as the turrets go, well, if you're familiar with one of the Strike Eagles, it's the exact same style turret. How much so? Well, I have a one to six Strike Eagle right here. And the only thing that's different are what the actual dials say, or at least how they're, they're printed out. Everything else is identical. Listen. A little bit more muted on that, but as far as the tactile feel, they're identical. It's, it's hard to tell these apart until you look at the glass. With the Strike Eagle as far as a 1X fisheye, and you're going to see that the Strike Eagle, it still has a little bit, but it's a lot better than the primary arms. And as far as the 6X chromatic aberration on the Strike Eagle, it's probably on par. But I still feel that the Strike Eagle has a little bit better glass than the primary arms. Whether that's a fluke of this scope in particular, or it's just how it is across the brand, I do not know. I also did a tracking test on this, which I know I didn't do on the Strike Eagle 1 to 6, but I know it would be fine because the 1 to 8 was solid. It tracked well enough. It was a windy day. This is all at 50 yards. You have a 3 inch box and then a 6 inch box. More or less, it managed pretty well. Uh, when you really got out there, keep in mind at uh, 50 yards, your click interval, interval is going to be double what it is at 100 yards. So for a 6 inch box with half inch clicks, what was it? Can't do the math right now. I'll figure it out. I'll put it up on screen. But it's a lot of clicks. You're really moving the internal components of this around. Tracked well enough. Always came back to roughly center. For what it is, it's perfect. With that being said, I really wanted to like this scope. I love the reticle. I like the brightness of it. And that's about it. Everything else, I feel the Strike Eagle has a very slight, if not minor, advantage. But again, if you're looking at these two scopes, my recommendation would go to the Strike Eagle 1 to 6. Again, if you're looking at the 1 to 8 versus the 1 to 6 Strike Eagle, save your money from the 1 to 8, buy the 1 to 6, put it into a nicer mount, and go from there. Also, the Strike Eagles come with much better flip up caps than the primary arms do. The primary arms literally looks like it's just going to fall apart at any given time. Whereas these, the Vortex ones, look like Butler Creeks. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if they are Butler Creeks, just branded with Vortex name. That is it for this video review. If I had to pick between the primary arms and the Strike Eagle, I'd go with the Strike Eagle. Only by a minor margin. If the Kiss reticle was in the Strike Eagle, that margin would grow. But, you know, your mileage might vary. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and share. And if you also can support, I would greatly appreciate it. All the funding for these scopes come out of my own pocket, which is another reason why I am delayed with these scope views. Not only that, but the summertime is a very busy time for me. Now that the fall is coming in, I should have a lot more time to focus and dedicate to keeping this channel updated with as much content as possible. Thank you very much for watching.